Ah, nothing like a fresh spool of filament. Current year vintage, too. Let's put you on the shelf. Okay, now just to find a, uh, a, uh, a free, uh, a free spot on the, uh, the, uh, shelf, uh, uh-oh. Well, th this isn't gonna work. So for those involved in 3D printing, you know you start collecting filaments pretty quickly. And unfortunately, my storage solution is no longer anywhere near adequate for my current needs and the amount of filaments I've been collecting lately. Now, my print room slash studio here is quite small. I don't really have a lot of free room on the floor to install any cabinets or any sort of storage in that regard. But what I do have is some areas on the walls that are free around the room. So in today's video, we're going to be installing some rep racks to take advantage of that. It's free real estate. So what is a rep rack? Essentially, it's a filament storage and feeding solution. For those familiar with the rep box, think of it as the smaller, lighter weight cousin of it. It doesn't offer the filament protection and humidity control that a rep box offers, but for those looking for a simple filament storage solution, it might be right up your alley. Also, the size of it is customizable. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking advantage of this empty space of wall here above my acro bin that I use for screw storage, and we're gonna mount two short rep racks above it for filament storage. Now, when it comes to getting a rep rack, you can purchase kits from RepCord. However, we're gonna be going with the DIY option. The files for printing the necessary components are available on Perusa Printers, and I'll have them linked below. And after printing the necessary components and a quick trip to the hardware store to pick up some necessary screws and EMT conduit, it's a relatively inexpensive option as well. So let's get started on the build. Now again, these are parts that I printed myself. These are not part of the purchase kit. And I printed these on my Voron V1.8 in some carbon fiber PETG. Now, you do wanna print these in something stiff and sturdy as they are gonna be supporting some weight. I printed these with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle as I was trying to get the most strength out of the part. Now, these parts right here are actually optional. Uh, the rep rack mounts like a rep box using French cleats. And if you do have French cleats, you can use them for mounting this. However, I don't have any on hand, so I'm going to be using these printed mounts for them. Now, you also need some screws, and you can check the rep rack uh, page for the proper screws. I found the closest equivalent that I could at my local hardware store. And it does call for using EMT conduit. However, uh, since I'm building it over a relatively short span and I have already have these three quarter inch dowels on hand, a quick modification of the parts for the hole diameter in Fusion 360 uh, allows me to reuse these instead of having to go out and purchase something new. And of course, you're probably gonna want an electric drill and screwdriver. <laughs>
And there you have it. For really the cost of a couple screws, some EMT conduit, or in my case here, some leftover dowels, a few hundred grams of filament, and a couple hours of printing, we have ourselves a convenient storage solution for filament on a previously unused wall. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below. If you want to see more content such as this, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. On your way up, make sure you like that smash button. And if you want to help support the content I create and the things I do, I have links in the description as well. I hope you learned something new today. And as always, have yourselves a great day. Cheers.